I'm Michael Oleaga reporting from Startup Alley at TechCrunch Disrupt New York. We're talking to Latinos about their experiences working at a startup, the good, the bad, and more. Here's what they said. We're really here to promote Latinos in tech, um, and particularly in startups. There's a lot of discussion around small businesses, but Latinos also need to be into big business, and that is really what we're focused on in terms of getting technology together with Latino entrepreneurs, so promoting them. Through. It's really important that we create our own networks, because I mean, as you may know, it's extremely hard to get into sort of the incubators. What kind of difficulties as a Latino startup have you encountered? Because there's so few Latinos in tech, that's one of the major challenges. The other is access to capital. Tell us more about your startup. Sure. So I started um, La Mi Dinero Mi Futuro because I was seeing that we have a racial wealth gap, right? Latinos have 18 times less wealth, net wealth than most white families. And I said, I'm going to solve this problem. We're going to make finance uh, accessible to people. We're going to make it simple. And we're going to put it on one app, on one platform. Because we really want Latinos to be able to build wealth and make it simple for them to build wealth. So we're kind of that bridge. What's the one word you would describe your journey as a Latino startup? <laughs> a hustle. Hustlers and finding those ways to get your company out there and launch with, with very limited resources. And that's what we do. And that's part of also what the Latino Startup Alliance is doing. It's saying, we have few resources, but how do we leverage those resources? And finally, what do you think of TechCrunch Disrupt New York so far? It's an amazing experience. I mean, I think just you know, the excitement of TechCrunch, right? This is where the big companies get launched. I just wish I, that I see more Latinos here. I wish I see more African Americans here. We need more diversity. I think that people get that. They're Tell us about the importance of Latinos in the tech industry and startups. Uh, well, Latinos should be everywhere. To really just be able to show the gamut of what we're capable of doing. Do you think startups, Latino startups, have received enough support when it comes to funding or marketing-wise? Across the board, when it comes to tech, I, that's an area where it doesn't seem that it's a, there's a color kind of gamut. It's just like, do you have an idea that's, you know, that hasn't been done before? How much competition do you have? Is it something where you know you have like a core team of people that are at the at the breaking point of creating a new technology or whatever it might be? What's one word you would describe your journey working with startups? They really recognize what you have to say. You know, once you become part of that you know core team, and then when everyone succeeds or when the app you know becomes huge, you know that you were really part of something. You know, because everyone kind of was invested. So that's kind of been my journey so far. Is that you know your voice can really be heard and the ideas in tech are really a, as much as you want to put into it and that's why I said there's kind of like no it's colorless in that sense where if you want to get in it you know I, I would encourage more Latinos to, to kind of jump into tech for that reason. Hypefy is a mobile web where you can stay updated and organize what are you waiting for the new release in the market and we started with moves, games, and TV series. Hi-Fi is a, a good way to brands be connected with customers. So I think the idea is very interesting. That's why I joined. What have been some challenges so far when it comes to your startup? Yeah, we are from Brazil. The government don't help us. We don't have, we, ha we, we live in a startup hub in Belo Horizonte, but we have some problems with money, we don't have funding right now. What is one word to describe the journey of your startup? Oh, it's difficult. Challenge. It's not easy at all. We have to, we have many difficulties, but challenge has the bad side, but has a right side because if you are challenging, you are getting better, you are learning things. For the I'm Michael Oleaga, and don't forget to follow us online.